Hello, Divine Masculine and Karmic. How are you doing this even? Yes. It's time for y'all's reading. I'm skipping the Wounded Masculine or the Wandering Masculine because, like, I think they need a break because something's up. And I'm just going to leave them alone. Especially with this eclipse. Like, I think they need time to deal with their own shit before I interject my shit. It's only fair. Leave people alone. And let's see how they sort themselves out. What are y'all doing? For real? Like, ser like, look it. You know it's there. We all know it's there. Like, but it's still like someone refuses to look. There's still a tower between you two that, uh, I feel some of y'all are kind of avoiding or whatever, right? Dude, I tell you what, man, like, shit be whack, yo, but we're gonna see what's going on with y'all, right? But y'all are still avoiding that tower, like, it, like, avoiding it like dodgeball. I wonder if people even know what that is anymore. You're my age, you definitely know what that is. Like, you're even a t like, I've been taking balls to the head since I was in elementary school. <laughs> and dodgeball made that happen. Also, you have a lot of kids' concussions, too. Surprisingly enough. Alright, this is for all signs on this little journey, so no reason to worry. My masculine karmics. Let's look at what's going on with y'all. Alright. First card we got Ten of Wands reverse. There's a burden that needs to be released and it's not happening. Uh oh god. Yeah. God damn it, you all just got married. <laughs> Like, that really pisses me off, because it's just like, I hate that. Like, I hate when people get married and it doesn't work out. It's just like, oh, man. Oh, I got fortune cookies. I just dropped all my cards on the floor. I will read those. Fuck it. Let's see. Need rest, because things aren't working out. It's time to deliver some shit. Well, from the past, but it's like, there needs to be a cutoff somewhere. So, you know. The moon! Emotions are keeping people- the uh, emotions are keeping y'all on your strings. She's the one with the rose. And here's some individuality, a little taste of freedom and having money that's yours. I don't- what? Wait, why? Okay, wait. Who wants money of their own? Because that came out of nowhere. Usually this is more like independence and dreams for me in this deck. Who, who's thinking about being financially savvy, if you will? Huh. We got the High Priestess. Secrets. The Devil Reversed. Oh, Lord. Could be Capricorn involved. And God, I've already had enough dealing with Capricorns today. I really have. Like, oh my God. Like, they had me so fucked up. I had to do another reading just to clarify the person they were dealing with. Because everyone was being Jake as fuck. Uh, like just jig just absolutely greasy shady people <laughs> all throughout their little bonus it was just kind of like what are these games uh eight of wands reverse right here waiting for a message let's see what's the vibration for you too huh we got ooh separation someone's bitching because like she don't want to be like like Dude's trying to mansplain, you know, like, look, I'm a nice guy and we belong together. And, like, chicks, like, look, you smell like a blooming onion and beer. Get away. Like, no, where did you even come from? I'm sitting here by myself. Jesus. You know, like, the red wants the attention and the blue is just like, why? Why? But the blue's also offering the rose. I, I love these cards because it helps you differentiate who might be who. The red is also the devil right here. So, yeah. And the high priestess has red. Uh, the harv the scythe user, or whatever you would call her. Harvester. Scyther. Is her name Scyther? Like, like the Pokemon? 
Is that what? <laughs> is that what she would be called? I don't know. But whoever has got the side right there, she's in red too. This person's in red. There's a lot of red on the board. And here's purple right here, where it's just like someone's whole with themselves. Okay, so this burden right here, right? Someone's trying to release it. It's really, really heavy between the two of you. Like, I think you guys have been trying to work it out. You've even gone to Jesus or God about it. And, and God's been like, you know, um, I, I, I even sent you the devil because he even told y'all like he shouldn't be like he's going over there to deal with y'all's emotional shit, too. And it's like, it just still isn't working with you guys. It's like, no matter how much you try, it's like, unsuccessful. So it's like, should we keep trying? You know, everyone's tired of being everybody's fool, putting on a show, losing options in this. People want to call, you guys want to call out the snakes that are in your yard as well. Like, keeping an eye out on each other. It's like with the freaking... Two of Pentacles over here is like someone finally put two and two together and then like boom, there's a snake in my yard. I gotta watch this shit. It's like you guys are just too worried about each other. And that's causing chaos in the house with the four of wands reverse. You know, someone's definitely focused on their own selves and their own individuality, just like over here with the nine of pentacles. But it's just more like I like I called this out like someone wonder, worried about their money. Uh, someone feels like it's unfair and they're trying to throw fairness at the window because it doesn't count anymore and they want release from this situation so you guys are like what are you okay so let me get this straight right you spent all this time together right just whether you know consciously or unconsciously like whether you realize it or not despite it Divine Feminine, right? And now it's like you guys can't stand each other because it's like that's the only thing you guys have in common? And, you know, for some of us, we're going on the year four, you know, of dealing with this shit, right? It's been three years going on four, and it's like, after all this time, like, you know... Y'all just now figured out you really don't like each other? Like, for real, for real? Like, is, is that... Is that is what's being presented? Like, like the last time I read for you guys, it was like abuse and shit. And now this time, it's like... Ugh, like you're taking shoes off of each other and like beating each other with it a little bit. The eclipse, Lunar Eclipse might have played something in this as well since the moon's here. Yeah, because you guys got married in the 5D, and then you started fighting, and then it got worse. Ugh. Terrible. Speaking of the moon, Pisces, Cancer, could be secrets. Definitely someone having their emotions played. Both of y'all, honestly, looks like. Um, people coming against y'all? Might be pitting people against each other, honestly. Um, not plain fair. Like, there's a lot of fucking unfairness in this with you guys. No balance whatsoever. Um, stuff just not being brought back. Uh, like, okay. Like, something's not fully not coming back from the dead with this. And it's like... It's just a lot of harshness, man. Nine of Pentacles down here. You guys are... Mm, this is terrible. So not good for you guys, you know? Like, someone wants to charge ahead with being independent, I believe. Get away from this. They don't even care if, like, they clarify anything. They're just like, I'm out. I'm out. Screw this. Uh... Because they feel like they can't recover anything in this situation at all. Like, you guys... I think you guys want to communicate. I think you guys want to reach out. I think you guys want to do something with each other. But it's like... It just does not work between the two of you. 
like at all. It's like you're too scared to actually confront each other on the issue, but you'll confront on each other on some petty shit. You know? Like, crazy, weird shit. And it's just like, why? Well, maybe the High Priestess will tell us with this intuition right here. Right? What she got to tell us? What wisdom do you bestow with your intuition, High Priestess? Uh, yeah, the decision is very, um, conflicting. Like, like y'all care about each other. You really do. After all this time you've spent, you know, spiting the universe and God and, like, going against the DF. Like, you guys have had some good times. You've had a lot of shit in common. Probably brought out the worst out of each other, but those were the best of times, so, you know. It's really difficult, but it's like... It's been so long growing that the, that the pentacles are rotting off this tree. Like, it, it's been dead. You just didn't realize it. And you've just been dragging this out longer than what you guys really wanted to. Like, Jesus. This is, like, really downer. I'm sorry. Like, this is terrible. Like, I, like, I, I, like, I know people can laugh and make fun of when you guys are together, but it's like, ah, oh, dude, like... This relationship's getting darker and darker. Okay, the devil, reverse. Someone's trying to get out of this terrible shit going towards, like, this over here. And it's like, because they realize that the shit that they used in the past is not going to work in this scenario. Um, that their divine feminine is backs turned, or that this karmic just has her back turned to be spiteful. Unfaithful spouse, like it doesn't even want to be confronted with the bullshit that she throws in the face, and it's nothing but a nightmare. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, so masculine, I'll assume that, that that the red is you, but you gotta remember, you're the one who approached this situation. She just became intrigued when she found out she had competition. Yeah, because some people like to feel better than other people by competing, but it's just kind of like. Is there really a thrill in it when the brother person just doesn't feel like you're worth it? Just, just a thought, you know. Eight of Wands reverse. Someone was waiting for a message and it hasn't come. Uh, yeah, it's it, it it's kind of like they feel like an abandoned child. Like this shit was over way too soon, and they're making a wish. It could be you, divine masculine, right? Um, but you don't have the strength to actually do anything. In fact, you keep sticking your hand in the lion's mouth like Tien. Like, t or not Tien. Tyr and Fenrir. In case you don't know Greek mythology. You know, uh, they made a bet with Fenrir that if he could, that if he couldn't break out of, um, this, um, fetter. And I can't remember what the fuck it's called. It's like a crazy name. But, like, it was to bind him because they heard a prophecy of him coming back and killing Odin. Which he only did that because they decided to do this to him anyway, but that's on them for, like, being paranoid and shit. But this guy, Tyr, was like, you know, like, hey, if you can't get out of this, I'll let you bite my hand off. So he did it. And then he had his hand bitten off. And then... This person who bit the hand off just goes away. Not a word. Right? Like, you both bit, your, bit off more than you can chew with each other. It's like, you guys were so sure, but it's like you were basing your sureness off of spite, or off of a goal, which wasn't a goal that was towards this at all. Like, you know, if you guys wanted to get married, you should have got married, I feel like, and I don't want to be rude here, but to be blunt, you guys should have got married because you actually liked each other, not to, like, show the world how happy you are together when you really don't like each other, you know. If you, if you gotta pretend to be somebody else in order to get attention, you probably don't deserve it. It's kind of like help. Alright, so let's see. We got Knight of Pentacles. Ah, Ten of Swords. So anything you guys try to offer each other is just bad, right? Two of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are like... Yeah. Yeah! You guys want to be independent of each other? You, you want that independence? Nine of Pentacles once again came up, but it's like... You guys are being way too illogical to actually make the proper decision. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're like, you guys are done. Like, you're, you don't even, like, you guys are so broken hearted with each other and want something different that you guys just refuse to even acknowledge that. Like, if one of you took off, all you, like, you would probably search for each other, but it's like, at this, like, like you did before, but at this point it's like, you guys aren't really hunting each other down to impress the divine feminine anymore. Or to get under her skin, or whatever it is you're doing, right? Like, you know, she hasn't acknowledged you this entire time. Or your relationship, at that matter, or just throwing that shit out there, right? But, you, like, she hasn't paid no mind to y'all at all. Not in the slightest. And you guys have kind of kept going, and now it's like... It's almost like you guys kind of realize why she wasn't watching it in the first place, because she already knew what would happen. You know. Crazy tasty. And that's why she booked it. In order to make her dream come true somewhere else. Just like you guys want to do right now. Because you definitely see that there are other things on the horizons that could be gifts for you. And I think you guys want to leave amicably. Amicably. You guys want to leave on good terms, whatever the fuck it is I'm trying to say, right? So, yeah. Karmics and Masculines who are together, that's your reading. Like, I don't know what you guys are going to do. I, like, but you guys aren't even talking to each other. And also, like, you guys think about being independent, but then this shit makes you all wonky. Completely. Like, you want to talk about this shit, but it's like the heartbreak, you avoid it. So, there you go. That's the end of the reading. Thanks for watching till the end. If you want a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. You may like, share, and subscribe if you want to. No pressure, of course. And I hope you all have a good evening. I will see you later. Good night.